Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here, this is A Life Well Spent. My name is Kelly and on this channel I'm documenting my financial journey. Um, I am working on saving up some money to kind of pay off my debt. Um, it, I only have student loan debt left and I'm sort of trying to see what happens with uh, student loan forgiveness because I know that if there is anything that is true about me, it's I will always end up making the wrong choice. <laughs> I'm one of those people. I don't know if y'all have this problem, but like if there's two grocery lines, I will always pick the one that ends up taking longer. Um, and I, I have this fear that, and it might be purely irrational, um, but it's there nevertheless, that if I just go ahead and pay off my student loans, like the next week, there'll be loan forgiveness for everyone. So I'm kind of waiting and kind of holding out a little bit to see, you know, how that sort of going. Um, and in the meantime, piling up the cash to pay it off if the event comes that it's clear it's not going to happen. So anyway, um, it would be nice. I'm actually halfway there, so that's pretty cool. Um, so I'm tracking some of that kind of stuff. I have started investing, which I should have been doing a long time ago. Um, and so as I kind of learn and, you know, go through this process, I share it on videos. I use um, a monthly budget. I do a zero-based budget, which means all of my um, money coming in all has an assignment somewhere to go at the start of the month. So you'll see on my channel too, you'll see budget videos where I will show you what my budget's going to be for the month. I will then um, show you, you know, how I did for the month. And I also do weekly wrap up videos and that's what this video is right here. So if that sounds like something that's interesting to you, go ahead and subscribe. Um, I do upload fairly regularly. Things have been a little nuts the last, um, couple of weeks, but typically I will do at least a weekly, um, update of my finances. And I do that because I used to keep track of these things by using cash. Um, I use cash envelopes and I actually really love that system. It's very helpful. Doesn't require a lot of extra effort on my part. It's literally like pull out the envelope and see how much is there. And that's how much I have left to spend. Right. Um, but in the, in the era of COVID and, um, while things are getting pretty hairy, um, I don't want to handle cash number one. Um, and I'm doing a lot more like ordering either like on my phone and doing like a curbside pickup or I'm ordering and getting it like delivered to my house. And that's not that easy to do with cash, right? Some companies, you, you have no option there. So, um, I, I was finding that I was overspending and, um, I started doing the kind of weekly spending tracker to sort of see where I'm at with my spending so I can kind of rein myself in. That said, last month and this month have not been great for that. I kind of let myself go. Although I will say my August budget kind of got cobbled together very quickly and I didn't really think things through and how much money I was going to need. So I'm way over. <laughs> I am way over budget. Something fierce. But all right, let's get into it quickly here. The spending for the week. This is the third week of the month. So it'll be August um, 15th through the 21st. So an $83.74 on Amazon. Um, at this point, I've had a couple of Amazon orders, so I'm not even sure which one is which at this point. Um, stuff for the house, mostly. Um, spent $10.60 at the Dollar Tree. I got really some really, really super cute decorations for um fall and halloween they were a dollar a piece so got some uh walmart i spent 136 dollars and 90 cents um and there i got actually like a little handheld vacuum because i really needed one um I, it's sort of a pain to get my giant one and lug it for just like little spills so i wanted something smaller um and i needed some storage bins that was this and my target run actually um bunch of storage bins to like kind of store some things differently in my kitchen um and other places in my house so i just needed like a variety of sizes and whatnot uh let's see kindle i bought a book for 2.99 um i got gas for 38 dollars 38 39 dollars and 18 cents i went to a joanne fabric shop to get um some crafting supplies that I needed. And, um, actually I went in for a thimble. 
my mom has this really great like flexible thimble that doesn't feel like it's just destroying your hand because it kind of molds to the size of your hand. So I went in to look for one of those, found a really cute wreath on sale, half off um, for $15. So I figured mm, I could pay that. And uh, yeah, ended up getting my mom some sewing stuff as well. I spent $164.93 at Old Navy, just needed some new clothes. Um, my ID theft, which I actually thought was coming out in July, came out in August for some reason. That was $75. So I wasn't really planning for that. I planned for it last month. I'll just have to remember that. The renewal was in July, so I'm not sure why I got charged in August, but whatever. Uh, Kindle bought another book, $4.24. Um, I went to Giant for groceries, $65.93. Went to the ATM, got $100 cash out for the farmer's market. And so I just kind of leave that as 100 because whatever I don't spend one week, I'll spend the next week. So I just is what it is. Uh, Target, um, this is, again, buying um, stuff for the house, um, mostly bins for storage. Um, and actually, oh, I'm sorry. So that was actually sent to Erie. So there's in that is also stuff sent to Target. In that is also stuff from my Erie trip. We made a Target run for some things that we forgot. Um, and so that was all together. Sorry if you can hear that buzzing. My phone's going off. Um, but yeah, that was a total of $108.55. That was a couple different trips, actually. So, but I have a Target red card and I do the, and they give you what, five or 10% off or whatever. So I just do that and then send the money out. Um, and yeah, so that was that. So Earl's um, is a bicycle shop nearby and I went to get my bike serviced and repaired and get like, you know, the airs, the tires fixed. I think I need new tubes and stuff like that. So that was pretty cool. Ready, I'm ready to like rock and roll and ride on my bike. So that's nice. It's going to be the year of health for me and I'm going to get back in shape in some form or other. Um, went to a store called Boscov's. I had a couple of things I had to return because they didn't fit. They should have fit, but they didn't fit well. When I tried them on on our shopping trip, like, or I didn't try them on when I went on my shopping trip because it was so ungodly hot. And I knew that there was a store of that close by and I thought, I'm just going to buy them. And if they don't work or like they don't fit or they look terrible or whatever, I'll just return them. So I went and actually found some that I could actually do an exchange for and get a different size. And then um, I ended up buying a new personal wallet because I have needed one now for a very long time. And I've put it off and put it off and put it off. And I finally found something that I liked and they were, the wallet was on sale. The purse was on sale. So I was like, perfect. That's what we're doing. Um, so in the end, like in taking all the stuff back and all of that, um, getting new stuff, it only, and I bought a, and a little umbrella for my purse as well. $37.28. Went to Red Robin to eat before then, spent $22.63. And then I just bought some things off of Amazon. I think this was my cup and straw for my office. So it's like a four pack of straws, reusable straws, so that I could, you know, easily clean and rotate them in and out. But then a, a really cool cup that like keeps things cold all day long um, by the brand Reduce. Um, I bought one in one of our grocery stores and I love it. I have it all over the house um, or I drink it all over the house, take it with me wherever I go. I don't really want to be transporting one back and forth to work though. So I'd rather just be able to leave one at work. Um, and so that's why I got it. Um, if I decide not to leave it at work and do transport it back and forth, at least I'll have a spare that like if one's one needs cleaned, I still have the other one. Um, but I will most likely just leave it at work and I'm going to see, we do have like cool filtered water. Um, but no ice. So I'm going to see how, like if it works without ice, if it does work well enough without ice, then I will leave it there. If it doesn't, and I've got to like bring ice every day, then I'll just bring the cup with me and I'll have an extra that I can have one washing and one regular at the same time. So yeah, that's that. That's the spending for the week. It's a lot of money. I spent almost a thousand dollars this week. That's nuts. That's nuts. It's really nuts. I am, I am over already on so many categories and I got to tell you, I already, I made a Sam's run this Monday right now. I made a Sam's run on Sunday and spent almost $500. And yeah, 
Yeah. I did it for a couple of reasons. One, I have a sneaking suspicion that once kids come back to school, which will happen this week or next week in everywhere in our area, like my school goes back Thursday, but some kids have, um, will come back, uh, next week on like Monday. Um, I think Delta is going to go crazy through our communities because schools are vectors for disease spreading always. Um, and I think that, especially since we're not masking this year, we're not doing like all of our super crazy sanitation that we did last year. I think it's going to roll through everyone and it's going to get bad again in our area. And with that in mind, like, I don't think we're ever going to shut down again. Um, I don't think our Republican legislature will allow that to happen, but I do think that it's going to get to the point where it's going to be kind of unsafe to go anywhere or do anything. So I wanted to stock up on some things um, and get some things that like I maybe didn't need now, but was going to need in a few weeks time. But I was not going to want to go out to the store and get that stuff. So that's another thing of like me not really thinking through my budget and not really thinking through how much money I would need. I'm mean, pulling some for savings. I have definitely overspent my income. I mean, I've overspent my income already. <laughs> Granted, some of that five hundred dollars is stuff for my parents, so my parents probably owe me about half of that. But um, same concept. Like I bought stuff for my my lawn that I'm not really going to even put on probably till the end of September. But COVID's going to be so bad that I'm not walking into a store to buy it, right? So I picked it up now instead. Um, so yeah, I I'm okay with that. I I expect September to be way underspending, um, but we will see. I say that now. I totally want to buy a cargo hitch for my car. I used to have one. Then my brother borrowed it, said it was broken, and God knows where it is now. Um, so either he broke it or pawned it or something. Who knows? I don't know. Um, but I don't have it anymore, and I really loved it, and I want to have one, another one again. Um, and I'm annoyed because it was a birthday present from my parents, and he just <clears throat> got rid of it, lost it dude who who knows who really knows um but i definitely want to get get one um so i might put that in the budget for next month but other than that i don't anticipate too much spending beyond like i might go to the grocery store weekly for some ooh i just pulled this out um i might go to the the grocery store weekly for like produce and that's about it but i may also we can still do like saturday outdoor farmers markets so i might do that instead. But anyway, that's my spending for the week. I still have a whole nother week of this month. <sighs> Yikes, friends. Yikes. That might include a couple of days of, of eating out lunch. So, yeah. Yeah, I still have like, what, eight days? Eight days in August, and I am already way over budget. Oops. Oops. Um, if you have any questions about my, uh, the spreadsheet that I use here for my budget, um, let me know, leave comments down below. Um, let me know in the comments if you also kind of track your spending, um, weekly or do you do it monthly? Do you do it just every couple of days? Um, you know, how do you do that and how does it work for you? Let me know. Okay. Bye guys. See you next time.